Okay, uh, hello everyone. This is Justin Kerwin with a, another video, and um, forgive the noise, my cats are playing around with some stuff in my room. I really need to clean this place up. <laughs> um, well, I am recording this on December 25th, so Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, Merry late Christmas really, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this. But I've got two new puzzles here. This is a um, an antique or vintage looking, looking, um, looking clock here with a roll working clock face. Yes. And I've got a, um, a scale model working Ferris wheel. Now more details about all this, all the mechanics that go into this during the, um, the conclusion when I write a script and all that for it, because I'm actually going to try to write a script for the outro this time, <laughs> or for the second part, I should say. But this comes from, these both come from a company called, hold on, Wood Trick, which I assume is a competitor to uh, the, um, the other company that I've been working with. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And uh, it, um, also comes apparently from from England, judging by the use of the British flag there. I'm not sure you can see that. This camera does not want to focus on little things. U Gears, that's the name. U Gears is the name of the other company that I believe that Wood Trick would be competing with. It says a New World. Of art, and I have no clue why it's refusing to cooperate there. Well, I'll be posting pictures on my deviant art, and as you can see here, there's a couple of QR codes. I seriously doubt this will focus enough for you to uh, check those out. This one, maybe it's bit thicker than the other one but I will be checking both of those out with my smartphone and um, and I will post the links into the description as well now I'm doing both of these reveals this um, semi unbox these semi unboxings together because I got these both and I really want to tear into them <laughs> so um, I'm not sure what else I could really say about it other than, oh, wait a minute. It also shows you at the bottom of the box here. And I'm playing with some um, lighting systems as well. This um, USB light stick and a <coughs> LED the, um, desk lamp. I'm playing around with a bunch of stuff because I can't afford the professional equipment. But here, we see a small advertisement, and they're the same on both boxes, some of their other products. Not sure if you can see this very clearly, but there is a, an 18-wheeler or a forklift, some, um, some cargo there, a uh, windmill, the, um, the, the Ferris wheel, the, well, I'm about to build over here. A carousel, what I assume is some sort of go kart, and a four wheeler. And uh, I say they're the same. Let me double check on that. Yeah, they appear to be the same. And they've got your classic warning labels and stuff uh, chucking hazards, small parts, not for children, blah, blah, blah. And, um,. Well, let's, uh, let's crack these things open and uh, see what's inside, shall we? I'm going to use two hands this time, so uh, apologies for the awkward camera angle here. And I'm uh, not sure if you can see this, but... Uh, I'm tearing the plastic off. I have I have not yet broken into these. 
Oh, by the way, I did not order these. These were a Christmas present. Yes, in fact, unless I already told you that. But that's what you... <clears throat> Static cling. Always love static cling. <laughs> now, the reason I got this, this is because, one, it is a clock with a, as you can see here, a, um... A real working clock piece. Not sure if you can actually see that. Even with the LED lighting, it may not be very clear on camera. I'm hoping it's better when I upload it. So we've got, uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. And there's the clock right there in all its Roman numeral beauty. <laughs> and again, I'll be posting pictures of the um, final products online so you can see it a bit more clearly. But, which is a real shame. I wish you could, uh, well, I'm gonna be uploading all this at the same time, so there won't be any delay in that. But these things are absolutely beautifully, beautifully carved. If this is laser cut wood, someone really knows how to work one of those machines. Yes. And again, this was a Christmas present, so I don't know how much it cost. Looked on the um, Wood Trick website for that. Got some stuffing here. Ah, toothpicks, rubber bands, and we have some um, wax in here. Not sure what the rubber bands would be for on this clock. Uh, it's either standard packing or this is for the shelf. Also, um, there is a drawer hidden in this thing. It's one of its key features and wow, this booklet is thick. I mean, it's big. There's an actual booklet here. It's like some sort of uh, advertising gimmick. But um, yeah, it talks about your typical uh, break the stuff apart and uh, trim, sand, and wax. Yeah, there's some sandpaper in there also. Sorry, I didn't mention that. And uh, then it just goes into all the parts. And these things are very detailed, very large print. So um, even if you um, have a poor prescription of glasses, it should be easy to do this. Uh, oh, as you can see here. Yeah, yeah, this must be the punch out for the um, for the drawer here, and it's got some sort of rubber band uh, mechanism on it. Apparently, you uh, push through the bottom, and it pushes the uh, the, dr the drawer out. Interesting tactic. Let's uh, scoop ahead. A, uh, skip ahead. Scoop ahead. Well, why did I say scoop ahead? Skip ahead a little bit there. Yeah, there's some more drawers there, so um. Apparently you press on the bottom to unlock the drawer and it pops out slightly, allowing you to um, you to you to pull out the rest of the way and then you just pop it back in. That's handy, sort of a hidden compartment for all your valuables. And the only real secret to it, like um, the only real lock picking thing to it is you just gotta know how to open it. <laughs> you just gotta know there's a button on the other side. So that's a nice little gimmick I I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a button on the back to the press. And this goes into all the um, the hardware of it. I, um, all, I'm hardware. And I, the clock placement. And I also have a 3D puzzle that does this same thing, but thing, a real working 3D puzzle clock. But the hands tend to catch. I'll go into more of that uh, during, the, during the ending. But this is... Big pictures and beautifully put together. I'm skipping a page or two here or there to speed up the process. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a beauty to put together. Now, let me see if, uh, there's a lot of pieces. So let's just skip to the end here. And, yeah, no advertisements. It's all construction. All right. Now that that's out of the way, 
let's get on to the Ferris wheel, or as I like to call it, a physics model. Because, as we can see here already, I'm not sure Willie really can see that, but there are some gears and gimmicks in the back here. Like you wind it up, flip a switch, and the whole thing it starts to actually work. Now, there are no um, mechanical pieces to this like the like the um, the clock was for the real working clock, so we don't have any of those pieces hidden in here. Ooh, some uh, plastic here apparently got damaged during shipping. Ah, and underneath the stuffing, this piece here, the stuffing, was some more pieces and all the goodies. And this thing even comes with string. Ooh, something new. And we have toothpicks in their own special package, along with wooden uh, pegs, dowels. So, not quite sure what you call these things. But we got more goodies there. Another set of instructions. And this is something that was in the first one. But on the first page of this book. So this thing's designed differently. Yeah, it skips all that stuff and goes straight to the instructions. It is amazing how a single company can have so many variations of the same product. And by same product, I mean stuff you would think would be mass produced. Now, obviously, these instructions are different from those instructions. But, um, you would think that, uh, that would still be, um, like, something sort of standard issue. I'm skipping a lot here because, because I'll get to the good part when we're done here. When I've completely posted this thing. But, yeah, just like the other one, that's it. There's no advertisements or anything in the end. It's all building and how the mechanics work. Well, I cannot wait to put these things together. So what I'm going to do is conclude this video, put some of this stuff back up, and uh, I will see you all when um, I have finished this thing. Now, I don't know um, if I'm going back to you gears if I'm going to do more wood trick stuff because the fact of the matter is I don't have much money in fact I'm currently going through college at the moment and I do not have an actual job Hope mm. excuse yourself puzzle that was not nice but uh, I don't know how long it's going to be before I have an actual job and in case you're wondering my major is as an electrician, electrical engineering. Yeah, it started out as purely a curiosity. But my teacher is really wonderful. Like he's, he's a jerk when it comes to jokes, but he is really intelligent. He's practically a kid himself. Like, he's in his 40s. Like, it's practically fresh out of college himself and he really seems to know what he's doing heck he runs the entire well he used to run the entire electrical tool department over at my local college well more about that later on maybe i'll post something strictly on deviant art some sort of a picture i mean picture 
some sort of a uh, Word document or something advertising the college. But I will, not, I will not give out my personal information to any of you because, well, it seems that no YouTuber has unless it's a P.O. box, and I don't have one of those. So, um, it's enough rambling. The, uh, I'm going to pretend that's okay, because this is the first one I'm going to put together anyway. I just stuff that in there. I'm going to pretend that that's okay, because this is the first one I'm going to build it regardless. It's just too beautiful. I have to dig into it. And again, I don't know how long it's going to take me to construct these things. It could take me a day. It could take me a week. And I don't have that much um, Christmas vacation left. Uh. Oh, also, yeah, this thing says uh, double... Double A battery, the, it says THE battery, meaning this thing requires one double A battery. THE battery is not included for the correct work of the mechanism. Alkaline A double A batteries, batteries must be used. So again, I will take pictures so you can see this more clearly on my DeviantArt. And um, I guess that's all for now. Um, I'm actually glad that this thing do doesn't focus entirely on small stuff because I forgot to cover up the um, the barcodes on here. But due to this thing's fuzziness, its lack of focus, I doubt you could have seen that anyway. So, um, yeah, also, I just realized that these things also have a, um, of, um, an age jump suggestion on them. This one is 14 plus. And the Ferris wheel over here is also 14 plus. So there may simply be different, different levels of difficulty. And uh, it says here under the um, British flag uh, language here, mechanical souvenir collectible model. Again, you can't really, really read this. I'll post pictures. Number of parts, 134. The size of the model is uh, 7.28 by 3.15 by 12 of 20 inches. Packing size, 14 by 1437 by 7.28 by 1.97 inches. Material is, according to this, sanded plywood glued with carb, uh, carbine resin. And, and again, you can't really read any of this. I don't know why I'm letting you focus, while I'm letting you look at a, basically a, a blank screen. Because then you can't read it. So I'll post all this online later on. Well, it's uh, it's been fun. I'm gonna get to work on these. Don't know again. I don't know when I'll finish them. Don't know when I'll post all this. But it's been fun, and um, I guess I will see you later. Oh, and a uh, uh, merry, merry Christmas, and a uh, late merry Christmas to all of my my subscribers and all my viewers out there. If you are not subscribed, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will um, see you later. Bye.